but I figured I would pop on and we could do Mona's story quest today, which wow. Hopefully the dailies aren't like brutal today. Hopefully they're quick. Oh right, I'm I'm at Frostbearing Tree. Um, one of the things I really want to do today is um, is also work on this battle pass a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it up to 50, unfortunately, which I was hoping to do. Um, but I at least got the weapon, so I'm debating if I end up wanting to buy the um, $9 battle pass. But if I can get to level 40, I would consider buying the $20 one ready. like an idiot. I shouldn't, but I'm thinking about it. So, we might focus on battle pass a little bit today, too. Yes! Yes! I was just... I was just talking about this with my friends that I uh, co-op Genshin with literally last night. How I kept like missing out on doing this quest and how it was driving me crazy that I just had an achievement at 50%. Like I literally... Oh! Oh! We manifested! I am so... <laughs> I should not be this excited over the appearance of a uh, uh, commission. But boy! <sighs> I'm excited. Cool. We will get a brand new banner that I'm not going to use, but I'm just a completionist, so I'm excited. Uh, so we will get that today. That's fun. Awesome. These all look pretty easy. Um, also, I'm going to try and uh, sniff less. I've had a really bad runny nose lately, and I've noticed going back through and editing some of these down into like their story components that like every two seconds I'm sniffing really loud. So I'm going to try and be more cognizant of that as well to not drive y'all crazy. Sorry, I feel like I'm dehydrated on main though, so we might just replace sniffing with me drinking out of a cup that's way too large. Okay, do we have any mail or anything funky? Doesn't look like it. So let's go ahead. Mm, we'll start with this one. I am uh, way too excited about learning Hillichurl poetry, and I might actually look it up on my phone because way to do this and not have to fight them, and I would love to not have to fight them. I would love to just be friends with them. So, I might look that up, because last <laughs> last time I streamed when we tried to do the Venti quest, I clearly am not well versed in Hilly Churl because I pissed that Hilly Churl right off. So, we're not gonna do that. Booyah. Turn down our music a little bit. It's going to be really loud today. Um, bow, bow, bow. Where'd you go? There you are. Phenomenal. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Brain waves. Um, let's turn you down to eight. I feel like that's reasonable. Okay, because I feel like I'm blasting myself with music right now. Frostbite. Show them right here, right now. No. Whoa. That, uh, whew. I watched her health go down. Freeze. We're just gonna, oh, so you know sorry. what? Like, we're just gonna go in. Dodge this. Come on, my friends, please die. Cool it. Do me a solid.
We'll do poetry exchange last since I'm probably gonna look up the way to do it. Cause I just really wanna make friends with these guys. I don't wanna have to fight them. Okay. Oh, you know what I should have done? Ah ha ha. Let's not be dumb. Give me the juice. Please? Thank you. Thank you, a Barbados. the music through here I really like I think you can pick specific songs for your teapot I think I need to look into it because I think I see something that's like songs when I go in there and I really want like this song and then the song that plays in D Luke's house hello hey thank you for stopping by how are you doing today I'm going to be your wind blower today. Let's get rid of these leaves. There are seven albums for the soundtrack and I'm doing well. Yes, I seriously, the soundtrack is just great. I'm about to like throw a bunch on Spotify playlists too. Um, but the music in this game is just phenomenal. Uh, I'm glad you're doing good also. I think I need to switch to an animal character though. If only Jean would bless me. I'm gonna say that every day until she blesses me. My experiment will succeed. Although I do really like Sucrose, so I can't be that upset. I do love her. I see sparklies! I'm gonna get sidetracked. Uh, it's gorgeous, yes. Well, that's not bad. Okay, is that a pile of leaves? Is that- is this one? It looks like one. Booyah! That was one. Oh, these look like a couple. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Let's see if there's any back here. It's nighttime. We're getting that mood now. Ah, I see. I didn't have to go around at all. I know the little mini map indicator showed me that, but I really felt like they would be somewhere on the other side. But as we've displayed, I don't know how to use maps. I don't know about that. I think maybe we're... I just wish this gave me reputation because I am so close. So close. Um, but I think I've maxed out all the reputation I can get this week for Mondstadt. I think next week, next week will be when we get the cool wings and I think they're gonna look great on Sucrose. I'm so excited to throw those on her. Okay. Well, that's not bad. They are all really cool characters. Yes, honestly, the thing that finally got me to play this game was just the character design and seeing how into it my friends were, because a lot of my friends are cosplayers. Um, because I'm not usually into gacha-style games, I tend to be a free-to-play person. Like, I 
don't even successfully stick with a lot of MMOs that are not free to play because I just don't. I don't stick with games consistently. Like I loved Final Fantasy XIV, but I didn't play it consistently enough to justify a sub. Um, but the gacha system isn't awful in this game. Uh, it's not like you have to pay for it. And things like Battle Pass I might chip in for just because like I played a game a lot this month. So maybe I'll buy Battle Pass. But if next month I don't play at all, I'm not gonna buy Battle Pass, you know? Everyone and when everyone likes. I most certainly do not like the popular characters, I feel like. Um I haven't won yet. Absorption test. Uh, I feel like a lot of the characters people love, I'm just not huge on their designs, so. But there's certainly ones I do enjoy. So. It's really got a lot going for it. Hello. Come hither. I will have order. I don't know how many of these dudes I've taken down. Still not using a fire type in my team because I never learn. Ooh, catch his shield on fire though. I'm gonna go get these while that burns. Is your shield burnt off yet? It'd be like really cool if you did. Yeah! Thank you, bros. You came in clutch. Who would have known we were allies here? Wow. So now that I've killed a bunch of hilly churls, um, I'm gonna go try and do a quest with the specific hopes of not having to kill hilly churls because I would like to be their friend. Uh, said I very hypocritically. So let's go. Um, we'll teleport here. And I'm gonna pull out my handy dandy help me box and uh, see because I really wanna, you know, be friends. It would pain me to murder them after trying to make contact. <sighs> okay. Okay. Let's go make friends with Heli Churls. I would like to be friends with them and their cute little goblin dances. I would like to learn it. Okay, we're gonna try our best because I, re I really want to be friends with them. I really don't want to make them angry. Hello. Maybe we should be a scholar. Maybe this will be disarming. Hello. I don't know. That dance is pretty, uh... Fire, I think I think he's having a good time. Hello, goblin friends. I just want to be a hilly churl when I grow up. I. What do you mean? He seems to like it. Look at him getting funky. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna try this one. We've got two dancing. Okay. Hello. 
Okay. Yadada. Oh, we got all three dancing! We did it! We got three dancing hilly trolls! I didn't have to- I didn't have to fight them! I'm so happy. Look at them! They're happy! Everyone's happy! It is a good day. It is a good day. I'm gonna close this now. Handy dandy helper. I just want to dance with you guys. I wish there was a dance emote because, like, this is pretty fire. We did it! Which means, if I go here, finally! Because I'm a weird completionist and it was driving me absolutely insane. Um, we don't have this. Yahoo. That makes me very happy. Okay. And that is our dailies. I can go turn those in now. We haven't even started the Mona Quest and I'm just like chaos already. I'm saving up for another ten pole, but I think it's gonna be a while, guys. Like I got to do a ten pole on stream earlier, I think, just because I had so many events giving me so many primos, but I wanna pull for you guys, but it's gonna be a while because I wanna do a ten pole. <laughs> we gotta love completing tasks. Honestly, yes. Like I could care less about completing every quest, but if you give me an achievement that, like, bullet points and makes me feel like I'm achieving things, oh man, <laughs> I, will, I will try my best to 100% it, because we love, we love to see it. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Thank you for completing today's commissions. Here is your reward. Honestly, give me that checkmark, boy. Honestly, yes, I completely agree with you, like... Like, I don't think I would do my daily quest if not for the fact they gave me Primo gems, if I'm being completely honest. I just kind of, like, boringly send everyone on the same ones right now, except for an Azuma, where I kind of rotate goods. You know. Just girly things, like hoarding mineral resources, even though you can't win a billet when you do boss fights. Uh, sure. Why not? Thank you, Miss Cujo. Okay. Try and get this baby up a couple. Woo! Um, I don't know if we'll be able to do it, guys. I, don't, I was real cocky that I was gonna be able to hit level 50 this go round, but I don't. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Okay. So because I was maxing out on keys. Um, which I don't know if I'm doing right now. It says Zhongli, unlock, and claim. Cause yeah, I don't like, I don't like wasting keys. I try to like unlock things as I go. So because I did that a little bit ago, uh, I've unlocked Mona, but I haven't started the quest. So she is ready to go. Let's just hope- I hope I didn't mess up, because if his is in leeway too, I hope we don't trigger it while doing this. Um, but we'll see. And I'm pretty sure this is hers, right? Um... Yes, it's this one. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's weird, because it keeps my chat from the one that just crashed in the corner. Um, but this is the new one, I believe. Um, so yeah, so sorry guys. I don't know. I just got like a warning. I'm gonna plug in my controller and, and make sure that's not it. Um, yeah, it okay, and now my computer Cold just buffered and that scared me. Work. So hopefully our connection Nothing isn't just like super it. bonky today. Because I don't want to have to like stream 82 times and annoy you guys to hop back in. Let's hope we don't drop again because we're about to start a story quest and I would hate for you guys to get clipped out during a cutscene or something, so.
Finally. I almost fell asleep waiting. <laughs> As usual, my predictions are correct. You, yes you, come with me. Huh? Are you some sort of door-to-door -door fortune teller? <laughs> Sorry, but we're not really interested. <sighs> You're not from this world, are you? <gasps> Does my ability to see through your secrets so easily not evoke any memories? Alright, guys. Um... Once I get out of this cutscene, I might just kind of see how long it lasts before I do anything story heavy. We might have to split this and come back a different day. Because if I start running around and it falls again, I might just have to call it. Because I don't want you guys to have to constantly refresh your screen so it's not just disconnected. That's so strange. So let's get through this cutscene and see what happens. How? Because I'm a master of true astrology. Cause yeah, I don't know why it's doing this today. I'm so sorry. If you've no other questions, let's be off. <sighs> Fine. I'll exercise a little patience and explain. I am astrologist Mona Magistus, but considering that it is most rude to misremember names, I allow others to call me Mona. I am on a mission from my master to retrieve a certain box from Mondstadt. It was part of an agreement she made with a friend 50 years ago. But she isn't as spry as she used to be, so now it's up to me. Not sure what getting fun. some box back has to do with us. Why do you need us to come along? Well, that's because I would also like to take on the guardian of the box. My master and her friend contended in the mystic arts all their lives without a clear victor. If I triumph here, then I will show myself to be superior to my master. What are you talking about? The main thing here is to use this chance to prove the power and status of astrology. Now, from my predictions, I know that my master's friend has left Mondstadt, leaving her successor as the current guardian of that box. Like me, that successor must also be one who has surpassed their teacher. I must not be careless. But I would prefer to assure my victory in this contest, and upon giving it some thought, you came to mind. The knowledge passed down to me from my master must be passed on in turn. If I were to bring my disciple to meet her, then the lead is already mine, no? And you are Mondstadt's great hero, my equal in status, so... Come on, you don't actually have to become my disciple. You just need to act the part. I got you. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna showboat for you. something for you as well, should you come with me to get that box. Once I meet that successor and have a chance to exchange knowledge with them, I should be able to read your fate more accurately. I would be digging that. Then I will have answers for- Must be much faster than searching the land country by country. <laughs> it really does. Decision. Like, give me the info we need. That said, I would like to pay a certain place a visit before we go. Okay. So before there we get ourselves in- never sees a lot of business, even though its food is always great value for the money. The owner has always been good to me, so I'd like to say a farewell before I set off. Okay, sorry, I didn't want to talk over her. Um, okay, now that we're out of this cutscene, I just want to kind of uh, dick around a little bit and see if we're going to disconnect, because I don't want it to disconnect mid-story again for you guys. Um... And if it, if it does disconnect not long from now, then I might have to just call it and we'll come back to Mona's quest uh, maybe like tomorrow or something and see if it's going to be less glitchy. Because I don't want you guys to, to constantly get, get bits and pieced here, so. But no, I, I love Mona's design. I, I am into the whole like astrologer designs and stuff whenever they do those kind of 
neat looks. I'm hoping my hunch is right though, and the really cool water door in Mondstadt is for the Mona quest, because I've been dying to go in that door, the, the glowy one with like the water sigil on it. So here is to hoping, and I'm gonna try and teleport somewhere and see if we disconnect, because I don't know. It's just saying I'm disconnecting from the network, so I don't know if I'm disconnecting from Twitch or if I'm disconnecting from like the game and it's freaking it out. So we'll go ahead and teleport here, kind of close to where we need to be. Okay. I feel like we're holding up. Like, so far that cutscene and stuff, I mean, we haven't disconnected yet. I'm real scared to pick up another story quest in it to... It to delete us again. <laughs> I was really delayed on my part. We'll do this. We'll see if maybe some, some combat... Oh, okay. As soon as it, it spawns slimes. I will take a chest, though. Where have you been hiding? Damn. Get some wood. What's the hurry? You know what I do you know what I'll do that'll be productive and kinda test the limits here? I'm gonna go to my teapot real quick. I just really wanna make sure this isn't gonna disconnect. I really <laughs> just wanna be able to vibe. Not bad. Oops. I mean, I feel like if you ever have any questions, it's seeming to be connecting now. I swear, if I go, if I go to this quest and it's like, mm -mm, I'm gonna be so upset. Okay, well let's try it, cause I I would like to do this today. Let's try this. I swear. Just the way. Okay, there's a Sealy thing up there. And now I'm like, where is the Sealy? Let me help you find your home. There you are. Please let me help you. You are cute. Crumble. Watch this, like, not even be that one up there. Okay, cool, it is. <laughs> oh, it's like, I swear. That would be my luck. <laughs> Hello. I'm glad I could help you home. Where have you been hiding? Also, I think we're getting close to hitting our 400 mark with the chest in Leeway, which is exciting. Leeway. I feel like I never say it right. Every time I say it, I can hear... I think I'm saying it wrong. Hello, Mr. Shu. Well, it's no wonder that an inn set up here has no business. Mona, oh, you've come at just the right time. Did you see a jade ring while you made your way here? A jade ring? Can't say I have. Oh, that's not good. The ring was given to me by my mother, but while my back was turned, it was swallowed up by a slime. Oh, God. Okay. Mm, that should be no trouble with Mona here. She's really good at astrology. Paimon, do you know what astrology is? Absolutely not. 
Astrology is meant to be used to gain insight into reality and observe destiny itself. It's certainly not for such mundane affairs. But didn't you say that the owner here's been good to you? This is a matter of pride and one state of mind. If an astrologist thinks that their arts can solve all problems, they will be forsaken by the starry ether. Their divinations will lose the power to guide and will not be able to pierce the fog of the unknown before them. Principles are principles. You know what? I can respect Such that. Such a powerful ability, and you don't use it to earn a living? What a shame. Uh, well, I was going to put up 20,000 more as compensation, if you were willing. Uh, 20,000? Oh, Her right. eyes went. Nothing. I, I was just thinking that the person who finds that ring must be lucky indeed to be able to earn 20,000 mora just like that. <clears throat> yes, of course. Still, the owner's business has had it pretty hard. It must be a truly extraordinary ring to be worth spending this much mora to find. It wouldn't be right for us to leave like this, so let's help to search for it. You and know, principles are principles. We can employ besides astrology. Principles are principles, but let's be real. That's a lot of Moira. More Mora. I always want to put nine in it. That's a lot of Mora. And um, even though I'm richer than God because I never use Mora much in this game, uh, let's go, Mona. Oh, let's get you that I'm bread. I where this is going. I know. I'll leave this one to you. This is the first mission I'm giving you as your master. Also, like, Paimon can't talk because Paimon's all about that treasure. Since it was swallowed up by a slime, you remember the stuff we helped Master D. Luke make? Heck yeah. And <laughs> Paimon actually kept a small amount. Paimon's the very best partner, right? Seems like you already have a. Yep, we'll be back in a jiffy. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Time to kill some the slime. The bait's really strong. It will attract all the slimes in the area. Even if they're just slimes, they can be dangerous together, so we'd best prepare ourselves. I love Sucrose, but she is not high enough level that I want to deal with it right now. Whatever would you do without me? I need to level her. Come on out. Right here. Ah, come on, I hate, I hate the stupid bubbles, dude. Emerge, right here. I'm always watching. Come on out. How are the end of fight done? Yeah. Let's wreck these bros. We got a ring to find. Yeah, we will pop this for you because I don't want to sit here and chunk you. Let's just get you dead. Okay. I hear more. There they are. Show them. Emerge. Right now. Ayo. We got that Nephrite ring. Okay. It's not really it Jade. It's so pretty. In my brain, I'm just seeing I'm Nephrite sure from Sailor Moon. Hello, hey, welcome. Um, 
Sorry if you were in this stream earlier and it crashed on you, but welcome. I hope you uh, uh, I are doing good today. Any bad thoughts? Uh, let's bring the ring back to Mr. Zhu. See, she can't talk about Mona's principle. She's just about to steal it. Come on, girl. We're better than that. We're the hero. We're gonna go uh, get this ring back and get that coin. That legitimate coin. Paimon's literally the worst. That's it! That's the one! Ah, I thought it was lost forever. You actually found it. Not bad. Mr. Zhu, you must take care of such precious things a bit better. You might not be so fortunate next time. You're absolutely right. Gave me. I felt my soul leave my body. What? <laughs> Let me explain. Uh, now I just arrived. Has your day enjoying the Genshin grind? Yeah. In order to sure that I would be able to find myself a good wife. My mother had many jade accessories made as heirlooms. Uh, now that he's done talking, I don't want to talk over him. Um, yeah, we're doing Mona's story quest. Uh, we finished our dailies, and now we are on that grind to to figure out what's up with her. Cause I haven't really gotten to uh, encounter Mona outside of this yet, so I'm kind of excited. I think there might be over five hundred of them. Then why would you feel the need to set up an inn here? Well, inheriting the family business too early. Can they steal their master's thunder? Didn't we say we were just playing pretend? Well, you need to start practicing now. If my rival is as smart as I think they are, they will figure you out in a heartbeat. Mood girl. Uh, what was that rumbling sound? Oh, right. You mustn't have eaten in days. I'm very sorry. I forgot that you have no... Ah, uh, <laughs> That didn't happen. Forget it. Bring you to a fine meal. If we travel north, we'll reach the Wongshu Inn. I hear the food there is really good, so let's go try it out. No need to thank me. I'm just doing as a good master should. Did she say she was treating us? Is Paimon hearing things? She's such a good person. <laughs> Let's have ourselves a great meal. Paimon is so easy to please, like money, food. Ooh, if you don't mind me asking, what A are you? Um, what A R are you? Wow, I can't read today. Um, I just lumped that all together. I think I am 42 or 43. Uh, 42. Um, so getting up there slowly, slowly, trying to catch up with my friends because all of them are like crazy high ARs. Um, so not not doing too shabby. Um, I just didn't expect Mona to be from Liyue. Um, with her kind of like medieval looking aesthetic, I thought she would be in Mondstadt along with, um, the knights and stuff. And a name like Mona. Kind of, you know, Euro sounding. Since Mondstadt's, I think, Germany or something like that. drop down in the seat like a BA. <laughs> Since it's Mona's treat, we can order whatever we want. Mona's right? vision is from Monstai. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, there we go. Of course. I am a most generous master after all, but only if you can finish it all. Wasting food simply will not do. Excuse me, what would you like to order? Golden shrimp balls got me. Large succulent shrimp wrapped in crispy fried potatoes. They have an amazing texture. They sound like it. You know, we'll double seafood. Though tofu could not be a more ordinary ingredient, it and crab roe are truly a match made in heaven. It's one of our specialties. 
This oh, are we supposed to say all four? Oh my god, how much food are we getting? Sheets, meat and ham are cooked together. Mona isn't for Mondstadt. Flavored soup. Yeah, I figured since this quest was in Liyue that uh, we're starting up the Liyue characters now. Because, like, for some reason, I thought she was. I think also because she was just lumped in with, like, the rest of the Liyue character Or the rest of the Mondstadt characters at the beginning. Um, and I thought that door in Mondstadt with the water was probably her door. Um, but now that we're here, I'm like, oh, she must be. She must be a Liyue character. Um, but I've just never encountered her in the story. So I was not expecting. Pour a few spoonfuls into each bowl of rice you eat. Mm, you'll never get enough of it. That sounds good. It's exactly what it says on the label. Abalone made from vegetarian ingredients. It's... Uh, all of them? We only have three. No, two and a half people? Isn't that too much food? That's not how you count it. Besides, Paimon hasn't even ordered yet. Why are we ordering that much food? <clears throat> Squirrelfish, do you chili chicken, and jewelry soup, please. Like, why are we assholes? <laughs> uh, so what's your main? Um, I don't have a whole lot of characters yet. So I'd say my main right now is probably Beto. I don't know if it'll stay that way forever. Um, but right now my main is Beto. Sure. And is there anything else you'd like to order, ma'am? I... I'd just like to ask, how much do the current dishes cost in total? Um... Around 20,000 mora. These assholes. Then... Uh, I'll... I'll just have some vegetarian noodles, please. All right. A we better give this woman food. Noodles, was it? Please wait a moment. We'll serve you shortly. We better give this woman some of our food. We just ordered five meals. Why did we do that? That's I'm so rude! about something since we started eating. Is it? Because she actually doesn't have money? I heard that. I said I was treating. How could I be rattled by something as mundane as Mora? Let this woman eat! The guy said she hasn't eaten in days. Why are we such jerks? Um, I see you have Geodaddy, Zhongli, and Yaimiko, lol. Yes! Um, I love Zhongli. I, I need to figure out how to get his damage up, but I just don't think he's built for it. So I usually like- I've had him in my team since I got him, but I usually kind of like pop his shields and then switch off to Beidou. I want to build him better, and then I just got Yaimiko a couple weeks ago, so she's not the strongest yet, but I do really like her playstyle, so I can't complain. But those are my two five-star babies, those are the only two I have. An astrologist's mind is set on studying the stars. Being so easily disturbed by such banal matters would hamper my judgment. Especially the act of overly gratifying oneself using Mora. It is both vulgar... See, why are we jerks? And dangerous. So, not eating the dishes we ordered is also part of an astrologist's pride? But it feels kinda bad that only we got to feast. Oh yes, we can do that. Just give us a minute. Yeah, for real, guys. After you eat all your food, you decide this. Oh my gosh. You don't use more to fulfill your desires. So it's fine as long as you're not buying anything, right? Um, Let's go the kitchen from the innkeeper. Okay, Paimon. You talk so much. Um, hmm. We well, can get his damage up when you hit AR-45. That's what I'm hoping. I also don't have a good weapon on him, so I've been thinking about buying uh, Battle Pass this uh, month to try and get his... Um, what am I saying? I lost my entire train of thought. I might buy battle, battle Pass to get a better pull arm for him because the one I have right now just kind of isn't doing it for what I need it to be, so... You know... Oh, may I help you? Here. She <laughs> she interrupted him so fast. 
Ah, I see. In that case, sure. As long as you've prepared your own ingredients, feel free to use the kitchen. Thank you, sir. If I may, you must be well versed in the art of cooking, yes? Of course. <laughs> Talented indeed. Actually, I have a small suggestion to make. From your clothes, you're most likely not from around these parts. But since you've come to Liyue, would you like to try making Liyue style cuisine? Give me another I have recipe, a recipe, hell for yeah. Golden crab with me. It's a Yue cuisine clap. It's crab meat that's been rolled in flour, deep fried, and then pan fried together with ginger and garlic. When you finally plate it up, the crab seems to be lying on gold. Oh, I would love that. Oh, I would love that. Let's Golden do that. Golden crab. Golden crab. Golden crab. <laughs> I want this. Well, I want to it. taste this. With your skills in the kitchen, this will be a cinch. Shangli tops out at 70k. <sighs> that doesn't sound horrible, but also I know I already have Beto's damage up pretty high, so I'm kind of like, oh god, that might not be that good. But I just like him. His voice is nice. He's handsome. Geodaddy. Okay, let's go cook. I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to make it. Where did that go? Let's see, I need crab and I need flour. Okay. Let's see if anyone here sells crab. If not, I'm going to have to go running the coastlines for a second through Mona's quest. I hope it's not super long because I, uh... I have to go out later tonight and I also need to check on my 3D print file, so hopefully this all times out well because I'm really curious. I, I want to see what her dealio is. No! Okay. Please, sir, may I have some crab? A uh, please. Not the poster. Not the poster. The man's. Okay, okay. Please have crab. Cool. We're just gonna buy you out. I feel like this is gonna be useful. Um, and do you have flour, sir? those do we have flour oh yep and I closed it I didn't see it so I closed it okay he does have flour I guess I am just unobservant today <laughs> that seems to be our trend oh my god I want that for me. We can all we can all play pretend. I can pretend like I can eat that right now. This looks sublime. Mona deserves nothing less than sublime because we just ate like twelve things in front of her. So mean. Also, I think it popped up a second ago, but thank you for the follow. I saw someone followed. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I've only been streaming for a couple of weeks now, but it's been really fun. So I appreciate that um, you guys enjoy seeing this kind of stuff. Makes me happy. I'm so sorry, girl. Let me There's make it up no to you. Need to spend all that effort on me. I'm not in dire need of food. Don't lie to my face. I am a little hungry, but it's not a big deal. Girl, do not lie to my face. Your stomach's been rumbling the last two quests. Please have this gourmet meal. 
this aroma is... Wow, it's incredible! Fine, since my disciple has put in so much time and effort, I must, with great difficulty, accept. Mm. This golden crab is too delicious! I have never eaten anything this good in my life! We are master chefing it. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> I never knew that my disciple was this skilled. As your master, I am most comforted. I see that it's no boast to call them Lee's delicacies. I suppose it wasn't too much to spend all this more on. Ah, it's nothing. Nothing at all. Now that we've eaten and drank our fill, we should be off. If we travel north from here, we should reach the Stone Gate, and from there we will be within the boundaries of Mondstadt. What deep mystery shall we acquire knowledge of? <laughs> I'm... Okie dokie. Let us teleport. Um, let's see. Oh, this is not map. There we go. We are back, boys. But we're finally in Mondstadt. Okay, so this is technically Mondstadt. Okay. The quest to plumb the wondrous depths of knowledge is indeed arduous. Paimon's not tired. Ugh, that's because you float. Well, it doesn't look like an astrologist is all that amazing either. That's because you have too many unrealistic fantasies about astrology. Are you also resting your feet here? Who are you? Oh, my brothers and I are all merchants. We just finished doing business in Liyue, and we're preparing to head back to Mondstadt. I like the guy with glasses. He's very sharp. You look rather tired. The cart we hired will be coming in a while. What say you to coming along for the ride? <laughs> well, let's go then. We can make conversation along the way. The more the merrier. There's no need. Now, shoo. Get out of our way. <laughs> Miss, is there something wrong? Why are you making life harder for yourself? Cease your pretensions, bandit. Picking up people on the road who appear vulnerable, robbing them blind once they've gotten on the cart, and then taking them to some Archon forsaken place. Is that your deal? Sorry, I had to test drive a car, but I was still here and I'm still here. Oh, well, thank you. Hopefully you enjoyed the car you test drove. I know sometimes uh, the car buying process can be hectic. What are you saying? We came over here to make conversation, and this is how we're rewarded? With insults? If you don't want to get on, don't. <laughs> Crazy girl. Well then, shall I tell you now which objects you have on you that are stolen? If you have any quibbles, we can bring people to corroborate what I've said, and all will come to light. If I lose, I'll pay you 20,000 mora. But if I win, then you'll be eating prison rations in Liyue Harbor tonight. How about it? If you're real legitimate businessmen, there's nothing to fear, is there? You... You... You've pushed it too far, brat. Or oh, they were gonna rob us! Oh! <laughs> I don't know how you found out, but as long as we get rid of you, no one will have to know. Don't fret, it's just a few bandits. <coughs> I'm so sorry, that was probably so loud for you guys. Ooh. You said earlier that there was nothing amazing about astrologists? Well then, this is a good time to show you what your master can do. Did we get a playtest or a cool cutscene? Because I'm fine with either. Ooh, playtest! Another test subject. Oh, and Where's they this? get the treasure hunter voices. I appreciate that. How oh, this hill is like not being nice to me. Oh, her sprint is really cool. Whoa. Okay. That's really awesome. Okay. 
Yeah, I would not mind pulling Mona either. Okay, I'm in for this. Let me scry. Show them. Emerge. Well, now that they're super wet, we might as well. Delve into destiny. Okay. Let me scry. Come on out. Right here. Written in the stars. What did you think? Did that satisfy your expectations? <laughs> Such things are elementary for an astrologist. Um, I have Mona. I'm not a fan, though. I have a hard time... Oops. Sorry, all my alarm to check my 3D print just went off, which means uh, I might have a finished blade of Favonius. <laughs> I'll check it later, though. Um... She's fun. I'm worried about her damage. Like, it's so much just easier to do damage with, like, a beta or something. But that that sprint is really nice. So I wonder if you could build her for damage. I, I'm not sure. But, yeah, I could see how it could go either way. Because um, I have a really hard time making the Catalyst feel like they do damage. Like, unless they're a healer, I just have a tough time using them. Like, Yai Miko's handy because I can just set down those, like, electro turrets and then go to town as either Beta or Kaya, but... Lies are worthless before astrology. Destiny and truth are written in the stars. Well, thanks for not getting us robbed and potentially murdered. Though it may take more time to garner the specifics, I can read the gist of a situation at a glance. That's pretty dope. But you did hit some bumps in the road! That's because Tivat's stars can only display the fates and truths of this world. Anything related to you becomes like a fog that even I cannot penetrate. That is why I must meet that successor. With our knowledge combined, I might be able to gain new insight into your fate. <laughs> Whatever the case, you've got everything to gain from this trip. Alright, I'm rested. Let's get this journey to Mondstadt over with. <sighs> if only we had a cart. I thought you weren't tired. Okay, let us go. All the way up here. Wow, she's gonna be super tired if she's already tired. Alright, pieces. She can do big damage most of her have her support. Yeah, I could see it. I could see it. I'd still, like, ideally would love to get Jean, but... At this point, I just would like more five stars. Huzzah. Are you ready? Don't shame your master now. We're about to meet that successor. I guess. Wait, no. It won't do if you have no idea at all, even if you are a fake disciple. Oh man, I love Jean. Same. She's my waifu. Like, I have only gotten to playtest her in her own story quest, but just everything about her as a character I, I just love. I love her so much. We have a rule that forbids us from teaching outsiders, but I suppose... I suppose I could teach you. My astrology is based on hydromancy, and as the name suggests, I use the reflections in water bodies to observe the true starry sky. Allow me to demonstrate. Watch closely now. From the present station and movement of the stars... I see. So that successor is a young, female, knight of Favonius. That was Klee's symbol. Is it Klee? Are you kidding me? I... Doesn't that sound like Lisa? I don't know that Clover is Klee's though. We will meet her here presently. I swear. Well, 
That's all the information we need. <sighs> it seems that even basic astrology can't be grasped in one go. Um, I don't have a Discord yet. Uh, I need to set one up at some point. That's like one of my to-do list things. Um, I really should get on that. Um, I have a C1G in LOL. Nice! I'm so jealous. Like, I just started playing this a couple months ago. So like I said, like, Yai and Zhongli are the only two I've gotten. Um, which I'm not sad about, but I was kind of trying to lose the 50-50. And then I decided to try and roll on the perma banner to try and get Gene, and I got uh, a bow that I have no characters that it will work on. Um, so I think I'm going to roll on Raiden and try and lose the 50 50. Um, but we'll get there eventually, I'm sure. It just takes time. I haven't played very long. Never mind. I'll explain in detail later. She's here. Wow, it's you, Miss Honorary Knight. And Paimon, too. You're back. Why is it Klee? <laughs> That's her. The successor to great knowledge. Successor? That's right. I am the astrologist who has plumbed the depths of the ocean of stars. Surely you have long calculated my arrival as well. An ocean of stars? What's that? Does it have fish in it? Fish? No, don't play dumb. Is this some kind of game? I should be the one saying that. I didn't get what you said at all. But my predictions can't be mistaken. Well, let's make sure. Your mother's name is Alice, isn't it? That's right. Oh, so you're mommy's friend. But she's gone very far away. <sighs> my readings told me as much. But before she left, she must have imparted her mystical arts to you, surely. Mystical arts? I don't get it. Mommy only taught me to make jumpy dumpties. Uh, I don't like how that sounds. So Glee's mother is the friend and rival of Mona's teacher? Yes. As well versed in astrology as she was, my master knew only astrology. Alice, on the other hand, was skilled in a great many other mystical fields. Well, Glee's so young. So even if she'd heard this deep knowledge, she might not have understood. Yes. It seems she has inherited the blood, but not the knowledge. What a miscalculation. There can be no contest like this. Ah, uh, yes. So before Alice left, did she tell you about a 50-year agreement and about a certain box? Oh, I know this one. So you're here for that box. I'll look. Wait here. Mm, not this one. I just hate that it's raining. Like, it's giving me anxiety that our book is just out in the rain. Mm, hmm. Or this one. Mm. No, no, it's not this one either. Ah, I remember now. I buried it together with my new treasure at Windrise. No. Wait for me. I'll be right I hope back. it doesn't get bombed. No. Glee, don't just run off. Don't you need the things in your pack? I'll help her pack these things back in. You go after her. <sighs> Looking at how rash she is, I worry for the box. That box is really important to me. If anything were to happen to it, I wouldn't be able to report back to that old crone. Okay, let's go. Faster runner. Freeze. There you go, bro. I got you. Here, the 
This is it. Let's dig it up. It can't be. I put a sign here. There's no mistake. Ah! Tendro slimes! We can Bro. talk later. Let's take them out first. Oh, so sorry. Thank you, Rain. Heck yeah. Found it! It's this box. <sighs> Glad it wasn't damaged in the explosions. Retrieval complete. Let's bring it back. Okay, let's see if we can just whoop. Let's see if we can teleport to Mona. Let's let's try. She's so cute. I do like her. You're back at last. The wait was exceedingly dull. I had intended to read a book to pass the time, but this one was just some ridiculous diary. Nothing of note in it at all. It dropped from Clee's backpack, so I thought it might contain some ancient knowledge, but... Never mind, Matt. So, did you find the box? We did. It's in perfect shape. That's wonderful. Wait a moment. Why isn't it locked? And why is it empty? Hey? Well, it's because I borrowed this box to store my treasures. Oh no. Borrowed? But since you're here for the box, I took all my treasures out. That's why it's empty. You used it to store your things? Then where are the original contents of the box? That's what I want. Oh, you want the thing that used to be in the box? You should have said so. Clee, I swear. Clee! You haven't broken it, have you? No, it's not broken at all. <sighs> it's the book in your hand. What? Th this. So this book, this diary, is that Hag's... It's her diary from 50 years ago? She wanted it back! The thing she wanted back after 50 years was the dark history of her youth? I'm screaming. Ah, I'm finished. No wonder... No wonder that old woman said I should not look at it no matter what or she'd rip me to shreds. Am... am I in trouble? Uh, it was you who said you wanted the box. You didn't say anything about the thing inside. I don't know anything. I'm leaving. Bye. Um, well, if you don't say anything, your master won't find out, will she? Impossible. Astrology can see through all lies. You've seen it yourself. Oh. After having spent all my mora to come to Mondstadt, not only have I gained no knowledge, but now I can't return. How did it come to this? That's so sad. Maybe you could forget everything in that book and then go back. That's... Uh, too difficult. And even if I wanted to stay in Mondstadt, it would be... Yes. How can I maintain a proper astrologist's mentality if I stay with all these Philistines? Well, then you'll just have to go back and face your master. Stop talking about it. I I guess I'll have to... So I guess the water door isn't for her quest. Now my interest is piqued. I'll just have to stay in Mondstadt temporarily. Once that old crone's reached the end of her days, I'll be free. Okay, maybe it is hers because that's the worst... Okay. But what will I do about my astrology research? No, wait. I don't even have a place to stay. About that. We can go ask Catherine at the Adventurer's Guild. Let's see if she can help. The Adventurer's Guild? Ah, right. You can do commissions for them in exchange for... You know what I mean, don't you? Oh, um, thanks. I... Never mind, it's nothing. 
Okay, well, let's go talk to Catherine. Um, I am going to have to wrap the stream here soon. So if this is looking like it's going to be a whole other leg of the quest, I might have to come back and maybe we can do the rest of this quest later tonight. Unfortunately, um, it took me a little more time to get rolling than I was hoping. Um, so we might just have to come back here in a little bit. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurous Guild. Hello, Catherine. I see. I understand the situation. There is a magic laboratory in Mondstadt that has been sealed by some unknown person. It is hers! Cool! Okay, so we do get to- uh, well, it's not hers, but it is part of this quest. We do get to open the water door. That's all I wanted. <laughs> Ever since being in Mondstadt, I've been like, I just want to figure out how to open the water door. Although we have a few specialists yeah. who could break the seal, they all have their own labs and aren't that interested in the matter. I believe that if the astrologist you mentioned can break the seal, the owner of that house wouldn't mind if she... All right. Awesome. Let's then do this. Allow me to tell you where the house is. Let's do this. I think I remember where it is, generally. Okay. The person who placed this seal is by no means simple. Breaking this seal by force is nigh on impossible. Interesting. I suppose it's worth using my astrology on. Let me see. Mm, I see. So if you first, and then you. She did it. All right, it's open. Holy moly, that's amazing! Now we just need to go back to Catherine and you'll be able to stay here! No need, no need. You have my utmost thanks. You are? Oh, I'm Goth, the owner of this house. I passed by the Adventurer's Guild a while back and Catherine told me about the matter. I never thought this troublesome seal would be dispelled so quickly. Does that mean I can stay here? Of course, of course. The facilities inside were just being left there anyway. I would be glad to have someone make use of them. To express my thanks, I shall rent this building to you at the lowest possible price. R rent? I didn't hear anything about rent, and I helped out too. Uh, oh, well, yes, of course, I understand. I am most thankful to you for that. So rest assured that I will give you the best rates. I... I mean... You can do this, Mona. Simon thinks Mona's misunderstood something, but... I guess I don't have any other choice. I'll rent this place. Girl, just get Great. Mora. Then you and Zhongli, I swear. Agreed. I will go prepare the documentation. Please wait here. Thanks for your help. Also, well, I'm very sorry, but I won't be able to do what I agreed to help you with just yet. You're fine. Without the necessary tools and without new knowledge, it will take me some time to see your destiny clearly. But I promise that I'll do a reading for you first thing once I'm ready. Thank you. Our traveling together was fate, and of the good kind, I'd say. I wish you both safe travels. As for me, I need to think of the future as well. Mona, you've got this. You can How do it. How is she gonna make a living if she doesn't use astrology to make money? Hmm. Maybe we should come back and check on her once in a while. It would really be better. Awesome, we did it! So that is the first part of Mona's quest. I'm so glad we were able to do that. Rack it out! I'm doing experiments here. Ah, awesome. oh, it's you! I'm currently running some tests related to your situation. I should see some results soon, so please wait patiently. Don't worry about me fainting from hunger. In any case, I figured out a way to make some money. 
I was hoping we could see the inside of the laboratory, but we did it. So thank you guys so much for uh, watching me go through this today. It was so fun to do Mona's quest and so fun to finally get to see her because I haven't run across her anywhere else in the story so far. And she has such a cute design and it was cool to finally get to see what's up with her character. Um, I might stream tomorrow. I'm not fully sure yet. So keep your eyes peeled. But until next time, thank y'all so much for watching. Special thanks to my patrons who make videos like this possible. Jason T, Jeffrey and Jack, Hugo R, Andrew S, Y, McDoog86, Andrew O, NY Nightwing, Brett M, Juju Kushin, Rom FT365, Austin, and Marco S. And this time's lovely fan art spotlight is this amazing piece of Mia's Valkyrie by Hendrik Nowak. Thank you guys so much again for watching.